March the 6th, 1984. For the first time, Skyship 600 has emerged from her hangar at the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Cardington, the traditional shrine of British airship aviation. Now this famous landmark houses the latest generation of lighter-than-aircraft, designed and built by airship industries and packed with state-of-the-art aviation technology. The world's media were out in force to witness the 600's maiden flight, reflecting the global interest in this multi-purpose craft. The 600 is a stretched version of the earlier Skyship 500, with passenger capacity doubled from 10 to 20 seats, cruising speed increased to 55 knots, airborne endurance to a remarkable 48 hours, and virtually every other aspect of the craft refined and upgraded. Satisfied with the running of the twin turbocharged Porsche engines, Chief Test Pilot Commander Nick Bennett was now ready for takeoff. Using only a low power setting, 600 executed a perfect zero roll takeoff and climbed steeply and quietly into the sky. She had entered her element and was performing to the highest expectations of the airship industry's team. Skyship 600's ability to stay airborne for 48 hours gives her unique operational flexibility, and the non-combustible helium lift gas has eliminated the fire hazards normally associated with hydrogen. In her civil role, the ship can be transformed into an eye-catching aerial advertisement. She can be used for promotional and pleasure flights, and she provides a perfect platform for aerial photography without any of the vibration and operational problems usually associated with conventional craft. As an eye in the sky, the 600 can fulfill many defense roles. With slow flight, unparalleled endurance, and large payload volume eminently qualify Skyship for coastal and maritime patrol, including fishery protection, navigation monitoring and pollution control, as well as airborne early warning, anti-submarine warfare and minesweeping. Already defence and coast guard agencies for Britain, America and France are conducting technical evaluations on Skyship 600. After nearly an hour's flying, pilot Mick Bennett makes a steep approach to the airfield, then brings the ship to a stable hover prior to landing. The vectored thrust engines allow total control in positioning the craft, and the rate of descent can be accurately adjusted to suit any payload. This capability to take off and land vertically makes the craft unique among airships. Gone are the days when vast tracts of runway were needed for their operation. The skyships of airship industries can easily take off and land on unprepared ground the size of a football. Once on the ground, the ship docks quickly and easily. Ah! Secured to the mast, she needs no further tethering nor restraint. The maiden flight had been an unqualified success. The uh, concept has been to take a jolly good old idea of buoyant flight and then to use new materials uh, to the best advantage in order to get the structure weight down as low as possible. And this is now 
um, achievable. So the use of the new materials is enabling us to save weight, and weight in an airship is absolutely fundamental because the gas has got to lift the structure and the payload. You can get the structure weight down to next to nothing, not to see you any more payload. That's exactly what airship industries have done. Already the Skyship 500 is in service in the United States and Japan. And after this tremendously successful maiden flight, the 600 is heading for even wider markets.